folks, we appreciate you joining in for our daily devotional again today. I've just been thinking this morning about the shortest verse in the Bible, and it's John chapter 11 and verse 35. John 11, 35 is the shortest verse in the Bible, but it's also one of the deepest verses in the Bible. It's full of meaning and full of application, even to the Christian who is going through trial, adversity, and difficulty. Some of you will know the verse well. It's the easiest verse in all the Bible to memorize. John 11 35 simply says, Jesus wept. Jesus wept. And he wept at the grave of Lazarus. Mary and Martha and Lazarus lived in a little village called Bethany. And the Lord often resorted there. And he loved this family. It was a family that he could fellowship with, a family that were very hospitable to him. And the Saviour loved that family dearly. But just because the Lord loved them and just because they loved the Lord didn't mean that they were exempt from trial and adversity. Because the Bible says in John 11 that Lazarus became sick unto death and it came to pass that he died. And several days after Lazarus died, the Lord Jesus Christ went to the place where he was buried to comfort the grieving family. And we read, Jesus wept. And as we think about that little verse, there are three things that I want to leave with you that we can learn from the shortest verse in the Bible. Jesus wept. It shows us our Lord's humanity. Our Lord's humanity. Jesus Christ, our Lord, was perfectly God and perfectly man. Two natures together in one person forever. He knew what it was to be hungry. He knew what it was to be weary. He knew what it was to be thirsty, and he also knew what it was to experience sorrow. The Bible says he is touched with the feelings of our infirmities, and was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Never forget that the Son of God can identify with us in our humanity. It also shows us his humility. Jesus wept. The very Son of God, the creator of the ends of the earth, the eternal Son, the Alpha and the Omega, God incarnate, knew what it was to weep. That shows us his humility, his condescension. It also shows us that he weeps with those who weep and he enters into the infirmities and the trials and the burdens of his people. Maybe today you've got a heavy heart. Jesus Christ is a saviour who can identify with you. There's not a pain that rends the heart, but the Son of Man has his part. It shows us as well the Lord's sympathy. Jesus wept his humanity, his humility, and also his sympathy. He's touched with the feelings of our infirmities. He's a personal friend that sticketh closer than a brother. He's a wonderful Savior, a wonderful Lord, and a wonderful Master. And he's moved with compassion whenever he sees this world of ours that's lost. He saw the multitude scattered abroad as sheep without a shepherd. He was moved with compassion and he's compassionate even towards his people. I trust that the Lord will encourage you, that you'll know that the Lord's with you, that you know that he sympathizes with you. He understands what your needs are, even in these difficult and trying days. Jesus wept. The shortest verse in the Bible and it's also the deepest. May God bless you all. Thank you so much for listening and hopefully we'll see you again. Don't forget about our online church services on the Lord's Day 11.30 and 6.30 and then the Tuesday night prayer meeting and Bible study. May God bless you all. Thank you for listening and we're praying much for you in these days.